In the animal world, there are plenty of famous predator-prey relationships. No matter what continent you visit, certain types of animals always tend to target others. Cats always tend to hunt birds, whether it be a house cat or a caracal. On the other hand, almost all birds tend to enjoy feeding on insects or fish, because this is once again another famous predator-prey relationship. But in some cases, there are animals that go against the grain and totally reverse these famous relationships. In this video, I will be focusing on these animals, as I will be going through five animals that reverse famous predator-prey relationships. And for our first species, we can head to pretty much any continent around the world, as we have the herons. Now, herons are a family of predatory birds, with 64 recognised species. The largest is the aptly named Goliath heron, and the smallest is the tiny least bittern. These birds have adapted to all climates and ecosystems, but most of these species share a similar hunting style. Herons hunt both in freshwater and saltwater, and primarily target fish. They'll often use their long legs to wade through water, and then strike when the time is right. Of course, they're diet and hunting style hasn't made them the most popular birds, because as you can imagine, it could be very frustrating to find out that a heron is eating all of your pond fish. Although fish does make up the majority of most herons' diets, fish aren't the only creatures that they feed on. They'll tackle lizards and dangerous snakes, and in some very rare cases, alligators. In places such as Florida, these two species can be found in close proximity to each other, and this can often lead to conflicts. Alligators will happily eat herons if they can catch them, but herons are quite hard to sneak up on. If we make a short trip over to the ocean, we'll be able to witness another famous predator-prey relationship. In some cases, when seabirds rest on the ocean surface, they can be suddenly attacked by predators from below. Famously, sharks will target seabirds, and so will large predatory fish. This just goes to show that aquatic birds need to be very cautious, and should always have an eye open for danger. But strangely, herons can reverse these famous predator-prey relationships, but not in the way that you might think. Although some herons can grow very large, they have no chance against an adult American alligator or a full-grown shark. Instead, they target their young and have been observed both eating baby alligators and small sharks. These young predators are of course very tricky prey items, but nonetheless the heron targets them. These battles usually take place in brackish waters because this is where many young sharks start their lives. So even though it may seem very unlikely, there is in fact a bird that eats sharks and alligators. But for our next species, we will be heading into the oceans, as we have the bobbit worm. Now the bobbit worm is a very strange and mysterious creature, and in the wild it is very rarely seen. This is not because it's a shy and timid creature, but because it lives on the ocean floor and spends most of its time buried in the substrate. If you were to come across these creatures in the wild, you'd only really be able to see part of the animal. All it leaves above the substrate are its five antennae and its two powerful mandibles. Its five antennae help it to detect its prey, which strangely comes in the form of fish. Famously, fish have a taste for worms, as they're commonly used as fishing bait, whether you're fishing in freshwater or salt water. Some species of fish specialise in feeding on worms, and they're a very important part of many fish species' diet. The bobbit worm completely switches this relationship around, and fish don't often notice it until it's too late. They wait patiently until a fish gets too close, and in one swift motion, they're snatched up by the mandibles. The bobbit worm will then violently pull the fish down below, so it cannot be snapped up by any other predators. Because of this creature's nature and its looks, it does haunt many people in their nightmares, and to make this even worse, Worse. Some bobbit worms can grow to almost 10 feet long, so even though fish really do have a taste for worms, it's best not to try and eat this one. But for our next species, we will be heading to South America, as we have the giant river otter. Now this large carnivorous otter is one of the largest members of the weasel family. They can reach lengths of up to 1.8 meters, and can weigh almost 35 kilograms. Otters are known for being very cute and endearing creatures, but the giant river otter is adapted to a more unforgiving environment. The rainforests of South America in which they're found, are famous for being very unforgiving. They're home to many very large predators, such as black caimans and jaguars. Even the waters themselves aren't very safe, because there are plenty of large predatory fish, and of course piranhas. Now even though piranhas aren't as dangerous as the movies would have you believe, they still can be potentially dangerous in the dry season. Despite this, these otters are more than happy to target them, and they also target many other fish that are famous in the aquarium hobby. To help keep safe in the dangerous waters of South America, and also to help them catch their prey. These mammals are usually found in large family groups. These can number up to 20 individuals, and communication is very important to these large groups. Females can give birth to one to three cubs, and during the first few years of their life, many predators will target them. Luckily, in most cases, when a caiman attempts to attack, the older otters will come in to defend it, and in some cases, the adults will then target the caiman. Now, most 
large crocodilians around the world tend to target mammals. Famously, alligators will go after many different species of mammal, and so will the crocodiles of Africa and Australia. In this instance, the mammals fight back and actually go after these crocodilians. Of course, this is not the only case of this happening around the world, and this isn't even the only case in South America. As I've covered many times on the channel before, jaguars will even target these caiman, meaning that these crocodilians have to look out for two mammalian predators. So in the otter family, this species really is the most formidable. But for our next species, once again, we can head to pretty much anywhere around the world, as we have the dragonflies. Now, for some people, it can be very easy to overlook dragonflies. They can look very similar to other flying insects, but they are in fact one of the most efficient predators on this planet. They have a success rate of around 97%, which is better than most predators on this planet. In most cases, their prey comes in the form of other insects, and their flying ability is second to none. Their two sets of wings make them very agile through the air, and they're able to fly in any direction, including backwards. In some cases, they can reach speeds of up to 18 miles per hour, and one species known as the globe skimmer has an 11,000 mile migration. This completely crosses an ocean, and is thought to be the world's longest insect migration. One of the world's most famous predator-prey relationships is between freshwater fish and insects. Insects are a very important part of fish diets, and they eat them all through their life cycle. Many flying insects start their life in water, and the fish will hunt them at this stage, and when they eventually leave the water. The whole sport of fly fishing is based around this predator-prey relationship, because flies are meant to imitate flying insects, and also the aquatic stages of flying insects. But rather strangely, the dragonfly reverses this relationship, but this is not in the adult stages of its life. Like many other flying insects, dragonflies start off their life underwater, before eventually surfacing and transforming into dragonflies. In some cases, they can spend years in their aquatic form, before eventually transforming. But while they're in their aquatic stage, they are still impressive predators. They have the ability to snag prey at lightning speed, and this of course sometimes includes small fish. Despite this, these nymphs are also sometimes targeted by fish, but strangely this is one of the only insects that can fight back. But for our final species, we can head to Central and South America, as we have the Harpy Eagle. Now this bird of prey is the largest and most powerful raptor found throughout its range, and is among the largest species of eagle in the world. They can have a wingspan of 2.25 meters, and can weigh almost 10 kilograms. This size means that they can hunt a wide variety of prey animals, and they are known to pluck monkeys and sloths from the trees. The skulls of these creatures often litter their nests, because these are some of the few parts that the young choose not to eat. Now almost all cats species around the world tend to target birds. Of course, there's a few exceptions to this rule, but the majority won't turn their nose up at birds. Because of the harpy eagle's size and power, only big cats could really target it, and it would still be a very dangerous prey item to go after. But strangely, harpy eagles themselves will target cats. Of course, they don't target the largest big cats in South America, the jaguars, but instead they are known to target margays and ocelots. These two species are still relatively large cats, but they're not large enough to escape the harpy eagle. Although this behavior has been observed, cats don't make up a large part of harpy eagle diets, and in most cases they choose to feed on other birds, and of course primates. So if you do happen to be a cat, the harpy eagle really is a bird that you should avoid. Of course there are many other animals that could have made it on this list, and if you think you know of any that I've missed then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.